I missed the first part. In Europe? <laughs> you know we're not from Europe, right? <laughs> <laughs> Gary Holt, because he's sitting right here. <laughs> Exit of the door! Good answer. Uh, is the Bombay already sick? No, he got in a lot later than us. We got in pretty late last night. We got to the hotel, what, like two? Tom got in probably like six or seven. Which hotel? A very nice one. <laughs> Here you go. I haven't. I haven't heard any Indian bands. All right. <laughs> I haven't researched or, or heard any of the bands yet. Would you ever like to collaborate with an Indian band? Sure. I mean, I would. Artist? I don't know about Slayer. Okay. <laughs> I have a question for Gary. Have we started recording what? Um, yes. Yes, we have. I mean, this was this was back in May. No names. Is Jeff going to be a part of it? We hope. Uh, yeah, Gary, uh, this is for you. Uh, how do you feel playing with Slayer and how is it different from Exodus? Um, well, it's different from Exodus because I have far less responsibility, which is <laughs> awesome. Uh, you know, in Exodus, I wear all the hats in the band, you know, much like these guys, and like Carrie, you know. And uh, in Slayer, it's just shut up and play your guitar, which is like <laughs> totally awesome. And you know, I'm playing with guys I've known since we were like, you know, super young children starting out doing this stuff. So, you know, the friendship was already there and the admiration and respect has always been there. And you know, I get to play Angel of Death every night. So, <laughs> you know, that doesn't suck. Will you guys be playing Strike with Beast by any chance? What's that? An Exodus song? I don't remember how to play that one. <laughs> um, I, your album, uh, Fascination, was it received so well in India. So what are your thoughts on album being flagged and banned for offensive content in general? I don't think that's right, you know, when, when governments or, or, or countries ban, uh, you know, any kind of music. So, I mean, we're going to continue doing what we do, which Woo! is offend people the best way we can. And, yeah. you know, that is, that's not going to stop. The <laughs> I have a question. Well, um, I saw you guys in 2010 at the Walking Festival. So, is there a level of nervousness before you play in a crowd of 95,000 people and a different stress of nervousness when you're playing in front of 10,000 people? I'm sorry, repeat that again. Yeah. Um, I saw you guys in 2010 at the Walking Festival. So is there a level of nervousness before you hit a stage in front of 85,000 people and is it, does it feel different when you play in front of 10,000 10, people? I mean, I didn't. I don't get nervous. I mean, I get excited, you know, but uh, nervous where, you know, I get sick or throw up or, or anything like that. That doesn't happen to us anymore. We just get excited to play. Yeah, it's totally exciting. Um, <coughs> the way I see it, it doesn't matter if you play in front of 50 or 50,000, you know, everybody paid and they all deserve to see the same show. Have you guys tried the Indian cuisine? I haven't eaten anything. I mean, when we got in, we woke up, and here we are. Yeah, I like Indian cuisine. It's good. Yeah. I'm sorry, say that again. If not for Pat or Gary, who else you guys have chosen to support you guys now? How that shit is going That's tough, man. I mean, I said a million times, if Gary said no, I don't know what I would have done, because... You know, Gary's a perfect fit, you know, and he touched on it a little bit ago. He was probably our first friend outside of Los Angeles, you know, him and the Exodus guys. So our history goes way back. It's a very similar background. Um, and, I, and I get asked that all the time, you know, if Gary can't play, who are you going to get? And I said, well, let's hope that never happens. <laughs> you guys have been around for about 27 years. So I just wanted to know what keeps you going in the studio and when you see yourself talking. I think for me it's playing live. I love playing live too. I hate recording. I love recording. <laughs> I like to play live. You know that's that's what we do this for. Well, you guys go do the next record. All right. I'll be out playing somewhere. Um, I have another question. 
another question. Uh, so many of your songs incorporate some form of social or political commentary. So do you consider that to be an integral part of your music? Um, I think more for me it's about saying things people are afraid to say and letting people know it's okay to say those things. Um, but that being said, if I had a point to any of my music, it would be think for yourself. You know, don't just assume this is how it is because somebody tells you it's this way. Who are your influences musically? Like artists that you like? Early or now? Um, anything, actually. <laughs> Artists that influence your music. Yeah, it have to be early. Yeah. I, mean, I, don't, I don't have as much time to listen to stuff as I used to. Judas Priest. Judas Priest. 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 I'm a big Priest fan. Yeah. Giant yeah. Priest fan. Yeah. My ex-guitar tech was a big Maiden fan. How about now? How about now? I've been getting back into Black's early Black Sabbath lately. But I mean, that's a historic band. There, I can't think of any period in time I didn't like Black Sabbath. I'm just getting into it more now because I played in um, London a couple weeks ago with Zach Wilde and we did Fairies Wear Boots. So. Speaking of Sabbath, you guys have worked with Rick Rubin. Do you think he's the right guy to do Sabbath album? I don't think he's the right guy for any album. <laughs> that being said, when we're in between record deals. <laughs> Oops. I think the only difference is your stuff works, you know, when you're young, you can barely afford the amp you're playing through, you know, and you're going gig to gig just trying to, to, to pay for gas to get there, you know, so it was very common in the early days, I mean, I've seen pictures of me recently where I played bass, because I broke a string and we didn't have any more. So I get the bass off of Tom and say, here, go sing, you know, give me something to do, I'll play bass. You know, now our stuff generally works. <laughs> but I mean, other than that, you know, it's the same thing. It's the same thing we did 30 years ago. It's just in a bigger arena. What are your expectations from the Indian crowd? I don't really have any. You know, um, it's going to be one of those, you know, get on stage, do your things, take a breath and look around. Can you tell me about like one game? 